Okay, today we're working on a 2004 Dodge truck. It's a 1500 with a uh, 5.7 liter Hemi. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, change the uh, serpentine belt. Uh, we have two idler puller, pulleys. There's an upper and a lower. And we have a uh, tensioner, which is right here. Uh, all the, What I did is I made up a uh, quick little drawing here. So I know when I'm putting back on how to put my serpentine belt on and also what tools I might need. Um, all I need is a 3 8 ratchet uh, and we have three sockets here. I have a 10 millimeter, a 13 millimeter and a 15 millimeter. Um, what happened with me is the uh, light came on the dash that says check gauges. So when I checked the gauges I realized the alternator was not working. Uh, what happened is one of those idlers um, decided to, the bearing failed and blew apart. So my serpentine belt was just flopping around, which eventually ate it up. And um, so this is what happened right here. As you can see, that used to be, let me grab one. It used to look like that. Now it looks like that. So I'm going to put that aside there. Um, as you can see, it's a little hard to see because we got this little thing here, which is for antifreeze. Um, that is the 10 millimeter bolt goes right here. Now I went ahead and loosened it up for us to make things go faster. Set that there. Pull this off disconnected here sorry for the video there we go put that out of the way a little bit and now look at all the room we have like I said it's not necessary but it makes life a little easier and now the reason I am replacing all three as I discussed before uh, the idler here is gone there's another idler down here so we're gonna replace that we're not gonna make take the chance if this one's bad and then as I look down in here, I see a crack uh, on the tensioner. So if it's not bad, it will be shortly. Uh, you're going to get salts and it's going to get weathered inside there and that's going to fail. Um, so it's really simple. Um, let me grab my sheet here. All right. So we got 13 millimeter is going to loosen these up uh, for your... Um, Eilers. Let's get in there with a socket, 13 millimeter, pop that off, put the new one on, very simple. Same with the lower one. Um, the tensioner, that's going to take your 15 millimeter, same thing, comes off very simple with a socket and a ratchet. Pop the new one on, and a uh, uh, unique thing, or I think it's a really easy thing to do, is to remove the tension. Uh, when you're putting the belt on, so you can slide it over the pulleys, and then uh, also if you're just removing an old one, you take your ratchet here, and you'll see the square hole here. That just gets put in there. You turn it, which takes some of the attention off, put your belt on, or take your belt off, whichever you're doing, and when you let it go, it's going to put your tension on. Very simple fix. I won't bore you with all the removing of the bolts. I pretty much have them loosed up and all ready and ready to go. So uh, that's it. And uh, hope you can do it without any major issues. And uh, have a good day.